if you use the tools, I'm going to end with and obey the rules I'm about to give you, you're going to be fine. But you have to understand the tools and you have to understand the rules. It's real simple. Okay? A lot of you guys are going to do this and it's unfortunate, but you have to resist the temptation of listening to people who are not documented. Now, I'm going to take you on a journey, but you guys know I'm going somewhere with this. I went scuba diving this past summer. Now, those that don't know me don't know this, but I'm not a big risk taker when it comes to my life. <laughs> now, when it comes to money, I like, I don't mind a little, little uh, risk taking here and there. I don't mind that. I'm a risk taker. I'm young. I can take some risks. But when it comes to my life, like, I'm not one of those guys that like get on roller coasters and stuff like that, right? I'm not, as you get older, you just like, you know what, I'm, I'm cool. You know, <laughs> other things, you find joy in other things. But I went scuba diving this summer, and I'm going to tell you when I learned about the rules and the tools. Write this down. Number one rule of scuba diving, never hold your breath. You can't hold your breath. I'm telling you, if you hold your breath down there, it's over. You can't hold your breath. You have to breathe underwater. You have to overcome the mental stipulations that you taught yourself over the years, not taught yourself, which is um, instinct, to not breathe underwater. If you breathe underwater, the bottom, if you hold your breath underwater, the bottom line is you will die. Rule number two, never leave your diving buddy. Never leave your diving buddy. You always go down with somebody, especially when you're an amateur, and this is my first time, so you, you never leave the group that you are with. Make sense? Never leave your diving buddy. Never hold your breath. Rule number three, never surface or retreat fast, ever. You can't just say, I'm scared, I'm out of here. You can't just go to the top. You cannot retreat fast. Now, this is what they tell you the minute you sign up for diving, for scuba diving. Anybody ever been? All right, so we got some scuba divers in here. Am I right about these rules? Now, let me tell you why. All right, so those, everybody got the three rules, right? Okay, now let me give you the three tools. One is your mask and flippers. You got to have that. You got to have your mask. You got to have your flippers. Two is your compressor. The compressor is what lets air in your vest and out of your vest, right? You blow, when you push it, your, your vest inflates. That's so you can float. If you, um, when you decompress it, it comes out so you can sink. You can't go down with an inflated vest. Everybody got it? All right. Three is your regulator. Your regulator is what you're breathing in which measures, has a little gauge on it that measures your PSIs, which is how much air you got left. <laughs> Mask and flippers. Compressor with the air. <laughs> Regulator. Make sense? Use your what? Tools. Now look, when he's talking to me, you got to understand, I'm not a real daredevil guy. It amazes me how people get on planes and stuff and just hop out. I'm amazed when I see that. I'm not got to get to the edge and be like, man, hold up, everybody got you. Hold up, man. Y'all ain't about to just push me out this plane. That's why they strap people like me to somebody, and when he jump, I got to go. Everybody got it. I'm not that guy. But I'm in this. I decided to do it. I'm about to go. This has been on my list for a long time. I'm about to knock this out. I'm scared to death about doing this. But I do it anyway. Overcome your what? If I obey the rules and use my tools, I should be back at the next game changer. If I don't, this is not the place to be fooling around. Obey the rules. Use your rules. We get into the pool. He tells me the three rules. He goes, listen, my friend, whatever you do, do not surface fast. Come on, CDC. Come on, CDC. And he did like this. I'm like, come on, CDC. Air bubbles? Air bubbles? You know me, I'm like, man, I'm from the hood. We don't worry about no air bubbles. <laughs> you, you can't go up. You can't go up fast because of the air bubbles. Like, I, I'm thinking he's just talking about, like, you don't want to pass the air bubbles. He said, come on, said he said, air bubbles, uh, blood, air bubbles developing blood. 
And then he did like this. True story. I was like, oh, oh, aneurysm, air bubbles, travel, you surface fast, your blood gets oxygen too soon, bubble travels to brain, no game changer. <laughs> That's how you got to talk to me. <laughs> okay. Come on, city, say air bubbles. You cannot surface what? Okay, so at this point, I'm still in the water. I'm like, cool, I can live with that. I just won't surface fast. I'll surface slow. I can live with that. My friend, don't hold your breath. It's natural, but don't hold your breath. You hold your breath, you get lightheaded. You lightheaded, you pass out. No game changer. No, I'm just playing. He said, he said <laughs> you get lightheaded, you pass out. You don't want to get sick underwater. Don't hold your breath. Trust me, there's plenty of air in the, in the, um, regular, in the uh, tank. I'm like, okay, don't hold your breath. And two and three, never leave me. Never, where I go, you go. I'm like, cool. Got it. So far, the rules are perfect. Write this down. It's three tests when you scuba dive. Three tests. One. Clear your mask. We're in a swimming pool at this point, right? You got to clear your mask. Two, lose your regulator. Three, clear your mask and lose your regulator. That's what you got to do. Use your rule. Know the what? Use your what? I'm like, all right, here we go. We get in a swimming pool. Swimming pool, five feet. I'm five, eight. No problem. What about right here? All right. You get down in the swimming pool. At this point, I'm nervous, but I'm going. I don't pay it for it. Let's do it. You practice in the swimming pool. Now, one thing you got to understand is when they say lose your mask, you have to take your mask underwater. You got to put water in it deliberately. You put the mask back on your face, then you hold the top, and then you blow out your nose. That way, if water ever gets in your mask, you have to be able to clear it quickly. Does that make sense? So if I'm swimming and you behind me and I make a mistake and my flipper kicks your mask, you can't panic. Get the water got in it, hold it, blow out your nose, and that air miraculously clears that water out and your mask will sink back up. That's how you clear your mask. I'm like, all right, let's go. He said, you watch me. First I go, then you go. I'm like, cool, let's go. Blow. His jump was crystal clear. I'm like, man, that was easy. Man, I put that water. <laughs> man, I put that water in my mask. Now you gotta understand. I'm not used to separating my nose from my mouth, though. See, I got the thing in. So you gotta be able to blow out here, but keep this in, right? And if all of this come out, you screwed. Cause then you gonna your natural instinct is gonna be to inhale. I'm just picturing, I'm picturing drowning in the five feet. I go. All right, let's roll. Down, up, blow. And I can still, it's right, all of it still right here. It didn't come out. I'm like, Lord Jesus. I blow again. It's like blowing your nose. I blow again, blow again, blow again, blow again, blow again. It, it didn't happen. I had to come on up. I came out of the water. <laughs> all the water, like right here, still in my thing. He can't take you down if you can't do this. Did it a few times. Finally got it. Next test. Lose your regulator. If we swimming and I kick you, you got to be able to lose your regulator and not panic. You blow air bubbles out, get your regulator. It's designed for you to just do like this. They put it in a spot where if you do your arm like this, the regulator automatically comes back to you. That way you ain't, you ain't down there talking about where my regulator. Just do your arm what? Like this, big circle, and your regulator, it'll fall right here. It's built that way. I go, you go. He takes the thing out, he blows. That's air bubbles, so you don't, get, you don't panic. You do this. Regulator comes back, you blow into the regulator, you back to normal. You got to understand this. The pool is different because if the water and stuff messes with you, you just what? Stand up. Just stand up. So every time I messed up, I was just like, whew. <laughs> you get down there 50 feet, 100 feet, you can stand up all you want. You better remember these drills we went over. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you. This is how you did me. We get out there. Know your what? Rules. Rules. Use your what? Rules. I'm like, all right. I kept saying to myself, don't go up fast. Whatever you do, don't go up fast. Don't leave him and breathe. If I do that, I'm what? I'm good. Know that the regulator's right here. Know how to empty this mask. If water get in it. 
and make sure I breathe and watch my PSIs. Here's the rule, write this down. I'm going somewhere. 3,000 PSIs, explore. That's like your pressure per second or something, right? It's like uh, pounds per square inch. That's how much air you got. Pounds per square inch in your tank. 3,000, explore. 2,000, head back. 1,000, get out of the water. Everybody got me? Now, y'all know me. I already put a curve in. To me, 3,000, explore. 2,500, start heading back. Because <laughs> you can't, you already told me I can't surf as fast. So if I need, I'm going to put a curve in mine. Mine over, at, mine over while y'all exploring. But you can't leave your, can't leave your diving butt. So it don't matter what you think. You violate rule number three if you leave early because you're checking your PSIs and it's running low. Now here's the key. When you're underwater, it sounds like this. That's the whole, that's all you hear. All you hear is your breath. So I'm thinking my PSI is getting low. Because with every breath you take, I'm picturing the tank, like, I'm picturing each of these drop like the gasoline in your car. Does that make sense? I'm like, oh, hell no, nah, I, I promise you. Now look, that's the normal person who's comfortable. Guess what mom was? <laughs> I'm like, man, what am I doing? So I'm breathing. No, hold on. Before we go down, he, you get on the edge of the boat, and he says, go. You hold your mask, and you just, because the tank, you just roll. Hey, like, we didn't, you can't do this in the pool. Y'all didn't prepare me for this in the pool. We didn't go to the edge of the pool and fall backwards. Now I'm in the ocean. Hold your mask, go. Boom. Flippers, everything gone. It's a wrap. Now it's time for the rules to kick in. Speed this up. When you let the air out of your vest, that lets you go what? At each, every time you go off of this rope and go down further and down further, you have to hold your nose and blow or your brain will like, it feel like it's about to bust. Because you're getting deeper and deeper and deeper and deep. So you have to do what they call um, de depressurize. You got to depressurize. He's like, watch me. Go. My head is about to explode. You ever like, you, you feel like if you blow too hard, your eardrum's going to bust. So you can't, you're not supposed to really hold it. Like when you sneeze, you're not supposed to hold, you know, you got to let that go. Does that make sense? Decompress, pop, decompress, pop, decompress, pop, my head ringing. The deeper we go, the bigger your head feel like it's getting. So I got to go back up. He said, you'll be surprised. He told us this in the pool. You'll be shocked. If you go up six inches, your head will feel better. You decompress and you go back what? You don't have to go like all the way back up because you can't surface what? This stuff right here tough in my mind. We get down. I'm like, Brian, you good. It's too late to turn around now. You in? Let's go. Blow, blow, blow. Head ringing, head ringing. Every now and then I go up a little higher. I'm like, he said six inches and I feel it. You go up, they stop ringing. It's amazing. That much room. Just go up like that. Boom. It's just that little pressure that made your head pop. Let's go. Blow, 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 blow. He was like, I was like, <laughs> he going back. I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm okay. You okay? I'm okay. Blow, blow. I said, let's, let's what? Let's go. You okay? Yes. Let's go. <laughs> going down. We get down there. My mask is misty. I ain't seen no fish. <laughs> Look, this is why we here. We here for me to see the fish. Let's not forget, you scuba dive to see the fish. I ain't seen nothing. You know why? Because my mask foggy. You know why it's foggy? Because I'm breathing like you told me to. But you know what you didn't tell me? I thought you had to put the water in your mask in case it was an emergency. You got to do this anyway. You got to clear the mask out. You can't put your hand in there and clean it out. You can't wipe it on the outside because the mist is where? 
on the inside. Right. See, you didn't tell me that, mister. I'd have worked on that harder because I didn't expect to get kicked in the face, so I wasn't worried about the little mass drill. <laughs> but the mass drill is mandatory. That's not volunteer. Voluntary. I ain't seen no fish. Thing. Look, I'm looking, I'm looking through. I'm, I'm, I, I'm not lying. I'm scooping down like this. Because like, it's a little, every now and then, it's a little hazy, but it's a little opening. I'm like, yeah, I, I, I see the fish. I promise you. He taking me down. He like, you see that? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't see nothing. But now guess what I can't see too? Nah. I can't see this PSI count. I need to see that. <laughs> I need to know what's on this what? This PSI count. Use your what? Obey the what? So now I got to what? I got to clear the mask out. I got to do it. Let's go. So, I, you know, you do this to go down. I'm going down, going down, going down. Now, him and my best friend, they swimming and doing it. Like it ain't nothing. I'm watching them. I'm like, really? I'm doing it exactly like we did in the pool. Because in the pool, I could feel the wet. Bottom. I went all the way to the bottom. I'm like, look, y'all just had to hold on. I got to clear this mask out so I can see my PSIs. Here we go. This is what we've been practicing the whole time. Let's go. Lord, please don't let this salt water. Because, you know, salt burns. This ain't the pool. Clear. Blow. Open. Crystal clear. I saw fish for the first time. Yeah, give it up. Thank you. Thank you. I'm like, this is beautiful down here. PSI check. Oh, hell no. Nah. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> Swear to God. Because now I can see. Oh, yeah. On my curve, look, let me tell you something. 3,000, explore. 2,000, retreat, head back. 1,000, get out of the water. Which means I don't know what y'all about to do. But it's time for Brian Bean <laughs> to get out of the water. And I can't surface what? And I ain't supposed to what? I ain't supposed to leave y'all. I ain't supposed to surface fast. I ain't supposed to breathe. I'm, I'm violating like, I ain't supposed to hold my breath. I'm violating all the rules. I said, forget it. I got to just stay with these guys, right? They looking at fish. I, I kind of got an attitude. You can tell I ain't enjoying it no more, <laughs> right? <laughs> I ain't enjoying it no more. They look at me. He gives the sign like, it's time to go. I promise y'all, there are no signs underwater, so you don't know where you at. It ain't like, they don't say the boat this way. <laughs> you just got to trust him. The boat was right there, like almost the whole time. Felt like the whole time. I surface. You blow the thing back up. <laughs> Air goes in your what? So you want what? So you, so you can float, so you want what? You want sink. <laughs> I went up first. Now I got to wait on them. So I'm, I'm, on, I'm surface, doing like this. Waves kicking in in the ocean. I'm like, y'all better come on. <laughs> Stomach just turning. Everything. In case you missed it. <laughs> A little lily pad right next to me. <laughs> I fed the fish. <laughs> My friend's about to surface right here. <laughs> I ain't trying to tell y'all don't do it, but just know what I'm telling you. Threw up everything twice. Wow. I don't know you know how that feel when your stomach empty and ain't nothing left, but you still, but the, I'm getting motion what? Sick. Everything came up. Luckily, they came up, it hit the lily pad, <laughs> moved on. They come up. We get on the um, thing. They're taking pictures all on Facebook. They, Brian threw up video, all kind of stuff, right? I'm like, all right, don't worry about it. 
The guy looks at me, he said, you did good, sir. You did good. Would you ever do it again? <laughs> Thought about it? I said, if I was on stage, what would I tell y'all? What's my answer? You got to do it again. You got to. Because number one, I didn't enjoy the first one <laughs> at all. I saw no lot. I ain't seen nothing. That's number one. But now I got the what? I got the experience. I'm going around the world. I'm going to make a point here. I got the experience. Number two, when I go next time, I'm, so in other words, I'm more what? I'm more prepared. Number two. I should have less what? Fear. Less fear. Number, number three. I know now that every breath I hear don't mean my tank getting lower and lower. Does that make sense? I know now that all my equipment works properly. I know what everything is for. I now know that the rules got me home what? Safely. I've lived to train at another what? Game changer. I followed the rules. I use my tools. Translation. Write this down. The mask is your focus. It is going to get cloudy. It is going to get cloudy. If you think for one second, you about to go into some uncharted waters and uncharted territories, and it's not gonna get foggy, you sadly mistaken. Some of y'all in this room are going to get wealthy. You will never work again. But what I do know is that we all got the same tools, we all got the same equipment, and the same mist and fog happens to all of us. It's whether or not you got the guts to clear the mask. They couldn't clear my mask for me. They couldn't come over and take it off, put the water in it. I can't go up under it and wipe it. I got to do what the man taught me to do as the instructor. He ain't having no problems down here. He's taking people where you said you wanted to go. I signed up to scuba dive. He didn't come and get me. This is what this man does for a living. Why did I even have the nerve or ego to add a curve to my PSIs? That's your ego. Because I say I retreated 900. But then he covered that quick. No, but you can't leave me. See, it's stuff in place to protect your... <laughs> it's stuff in place to protect you from yourself. It's stuff in place to protect you from yourself. But mess around and surface too fast. You're going to be dead and gone. And that's what's happening to a lot of you guys. Slowly but surely, the air, equipment number two, is being let out of your vest. And guess what? You doing it. And you sinking. You sinking. Because you letting how other people build their business affect you. And they not document it at all. You listening to a whole bunch of bright ideas. You talking to yourself and answering your own questions instead of listening to the instructors who are where you claim you want to be, who have been doing this 10, 15, 20 years. You got three, four years under your belt, a couple of comma checks. Now you got your own system. But slowly but surely, the air is deflating out of your vest. The vest is your belief. Some of y'all losing, you, lo you lost belief. But if you're deflated and taking the air out of your own vest because you're not willing to get out your own way, you might as well go in the sink. The tank and the regulator, that's your work ethic. That's your work ethic. How hard are you breathing? Are you getting up every day really going, I'm going to get it. I'm going to work. Wealth is mine. Success is mine. Abundance is mine. I deserve it. I'm going to work on my business just as hard as I work on my job. I'm going to work on me. I'm going to work on personal growth and self-development. I'm going to work as hard as I can until I get what I deserve. Or 
or are you just chilling, taking a breath every now and then and still trying to check your PSIs? You ain't do, I ain't getting no, it ain't doing nothing. I know it ain't doing nothing. Now your debt not going down. Now your liability's not going down. No, nah, none, none, none of the stuff that's going down is going down. Only thing going down is your vest because you pushing this, but you're trying to check this. The air leaving your vest and you checking your PSIs and all the things that you want to go down, like your debt, like your stress, like all your liabilities, like all your worries. You're not breathing or doing, you're not swimming. You're not doing nothing to get you back up to the surface. You're drowning in your business because you're not listening. Y'all not, a lot of y'all are not listening. You're not listening. I can tell. I can tell because I can track some of your results from the last time I saw you. I do this every four months. I beat you up on Friday because I'm going to love you Saturday and Sunday. But why in the world are you not listening when experienced instructors other than myself, we telling you how we did it? You're going to get home and you're going to get creative. And I'm giving you the straightest path. The shortest distance between two points is a straight what? I can't figure out and I'm done trying to figure out why you guys don't take the straightest path to your goal. Well, my mentor would ask me stuff like that. We had like 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m. powwows. My mentor cussed us out one time. I'm talking about literally. I'm talking about, you know how I freeze and do a little bleep? I might throw a damn every now and then. He cussed us out royally. I sat there. It's on film. I sat there and just took it on the chin because he was right. I wouldn't come at you like that because I don't have to. And plus, these days, everybody else sensitive. <laughs> but you know what's funny? Everybody wants the results, but they don't want what we went through. It's so interesting, like you want to change, add a little sugar, add a little salt, add a little pepper, but Brian, I still want your results. No, we ain't have sugar, sugar, salt, and pepper. We ain't have none of that. We had a tablecloth. What you gonna do with that? No, but it ain't pretty tablecloth. Well, guess what? You don't need to be sitting at this table. I'm giving you the tablecloth I had. And you got social media these days. And you got, I mean, what more do you need to expand your message? This. <laughs> Time to get the hell out the water. You completed your first dive, brother. Hey, two things. Don't eat before you go scuba dive. Or you will feed the fish like I did. <laughs> Can you explain to the people? They know exactly what that means. Do not eat before you go scuba diving. Or every fish in the sea will have waffles, scrambled eggs, <laughs> and syrup. You did good, bro. You did good. Hey, man. You did good. Good. Yeah, I appreciate it. Hey. But uh, my equilibrium got a little off. Yeah, it's still off, but you might get it again. Oh, man. <laughs>